How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today we have got another interesting phone and this time it's the latest and greatest from Realme the Realme GT8 Pro since it's a flagship phone it has the powerful Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 processor along with a gorgeous looking Quad HD 144Hz AMOLED display that looks absolutely stunning with a solid build which does feel really really premium when you hold it and not just that you also get a pretty capable triple camera setup on the back with Ricoh collaboration so you can take stunning pictures on this phone but what impresses me more about this device is the software experience it is running the latest realme ui 7 based on android 16 and after using both the color and oxygen os 16 I really wanted to see how good the experience we get on the Realme UI. Whether it is as smooth and fluid as its other siblings and if there are any sort of differences or not, we will find out in today's video. Guys, it's gonna be a super interesting one. So make sure you watch it until the very end. Also, if you love watching videos on different Android UIs and comparison, then don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel it would mean a lot to me. Now let's get started. Just like the Color OS and Oxygen OS, lock screen customization gets a massive upgrade here on the Realme UI 7 as well. First of all, we do get the full screen always on display with the wallpaper on and this is something that I'm glad to see on most Android phones these days because it gives you that clean seamless look and not just that, even the transition from the always on display to the lock screen feels incredibly smooth. Coming to the lock screen, there is this frosted glass effect added to the clock and widgets and again it does look pretty damn good. By the way, this glass effect is not limited to the lock screen and I'll talk more about it later in this video. Now coming to the customizations, just like Color OS and Oxygen OS, you still cannot edit the lock screen by long pressing on it. You have to go to settings, then to home screen and lock screen. Here you get this all new interface exactly like the Oppo and OnePlus and honestly all three look beautiful. I mean you get this nice looking layout where you can access different lock screen themes by swiping left or right and the lock screen preview has this cool reflection while browsing through flux themes just like Oxygen OS 16. Then below you get more options related to the wallpaper, always on display, icons and font. Now inside the editor, you can choose from multiple clock styles, you can add up to 8 different widgets and there is an option to customize the font, change the color and of course we do get the Flux theme 2.0 here on the Realme UI 7 where you have access to different animated themes, cool looking live clock, themes with different quotes and motivations and there is this exclusive meow section specifically dedicated for realme phones which consists of three exclusive themes for your lock screen and you can also customize to write your own text as well talking about exclusive stuff there is also this all new cool looking meow icons that are only available on the realme ui and these icons have a soft fluffy texture which is quite trendy nowadays and they do look visually pleasing to the eyes. So there is an exclusive icon pack and some exclusive lock screen themes which you won't find on the Color OS or the Oxygen OS 16. Moving on to the home screen, this is where things get even more interesting. First of all, there is a completely new transparent dock present on the Realme UI 7 which can be enabled by simply going into your phone settings, then to home screen and lock screen, scroll down and then go into the home screen settings. Here just scroll all the way down and you will find something called as frosted glass effect. Just select that and enable both the home screen dock background and the home screen folders. This will add that frosted glass effect to the app folders and dock too. Not just that, even when you open the control center, tap on edit, here you also get this toggle for the frosted glass effect. And when you turn this on, you will have a fully transparent looking control center with glass and reflections just like iOS 26. So these are some additional customization options only available on the Realme UI 7. And what I really liked is you do get to decide whether to enable or disable the frosted glass look. Apart from this, you also get scalable icons where you can add shortcuts related to that specific app. Then it also lets you choose from three different layouts for the app drawer. You can reposition the tiles and sliders inside the quick settings and when you swipe up and go to the app drawer, 
Here you get the category section just like OxygenOS 16. So you get almost every single customization feature from ColorOS and OxygenOS 16. And additionally, you also get some frosted glass elements in the Realme UI 7. There is another exclusive feature that I found on the Realme UI is from the recent apps menu. When I open an app in the floating window, then again if I click on the three dot button and select run in background, now you can select up to 12 apps and games to run in the background and access them from the side panel anytime you want to. This is different from the smart sidebar or the recent page. So all these apps and games run in real time and you can simultaneously switch between them in a floating window like this. The coolest part is it also works for some heavy intensive games as well. So you can play multiple games at once in real time even without having to close any of them. Inside your phone settings, if you scroll all the way down, you get a separate section for all the AI features and they are calling it as Next AI on Realme UI 7. We get all the features from OnePlus and Oppo such as Mindspace, AI Suggest, AI Search, AI Translate. But what's new here is something called AI Planner and AI Notify Brief. AI Planner works when you double tap on the back of your phone and it basically identifies events and to-dos from your screen group them into categories and add it to your calendar. Then we have AI Notify which generates summaries for your notifications and it only works when you have more than 10 notifications received on your phone. Another cool feature that is exclusively available on Realme UI is the AI Smart Loop. This allows you to long press on any image, text or video to bring this smart loop panel where you can drag and drop anything you want directly onto your favorite app or folder. Finally, let's talk about one of my favorite part of any UI and that is the animations. Since the Realme UI is fundamentally built on ColorOS, sharing Oppo's core code base, it just feels as fluid and smooth as the ColorOS and the OxygenOS 16. I mean they have worked on every single animation throughout the interface and each and every action you do on the Realme UI 7 feels so satisfying and smooth. Not just the app opening and closing animation, but every single action you do on this phone, such as the transition from the AOD to the lock screen, unlocking the phone, opening the control center, accessing the customization page, swiping between the lock screen themes, everything has that smooth buttery feel just like what we used to get on Oppo and OnePlus phones. It's a flagship device and I'm not sure how the Realme UI works on a budget or mid-range phone. But so far my experience with the Realme UI is really really smooth and fluid. Guys, I am planning to make a separate comparison video between the Oppo's ColorOS 16, OnePlus OxygenOS 16 and the Realme UI 7 where I will compare all the features and customizations too. So stay tuned for that. That's pretty much it for this video. Honestly, I am really impressed with what Realme did with the Realme UI 7 and now I can comfortably say that I can use a Realme phone at least for quite a few days since the software experience is pretty damn good. Now let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature of Realme UI 7 and if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.